Hi, how are you? I'm great. Uh, my name is Joe. What's your name? My name is Ling. What is? Lin. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the, the United States. What about you? Yeah. Um, I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Cool. Yeah. Do you know Vietnam? Yes. Very uh, cool. Can, okay. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about Vietnam? About Vietnam. Vietnam is like I think it is a beautiful uh, country to visit. Um, is is the hot weather we near equator so if you like cold weather i think that is not a little bit not suitable for you to visit and in vietnam there's all the place it are different about the weather <laughs> because um, in this place i i will give you some place that you if you like um if you like Cold weather or medium weather is about uh, 17 to uh, 24 degrees. You will visit this. Just you cool. need that. Yeah. So if you like cold more, you will visit. In this place, they have a mountain that is the tallest mountain in Vietnam. And wow. yeah. So if you, uh, Vietnam is very famous to the beaches and the food. So if you mm -hmm. like it, I think yeah, you will like Vietnam's too. Do you have spicy food? Mm, I think Vietnam's is have some uh, dishes, spicy food, but from because I, I can't eat spicy food, so I don't know much. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thank you. So Lynn, can you tell me more about yourself? About myself, right now I'm a student in middle school. I'm 13 years old. Um, I learned English for three years now. And right now my, my pronunciation and my listening is, uh, is okay. But about my grammar and my vocabulary, I think I need to improve more about, more about that. So if, okay. I, yeah. so if I see something that is wrong, or I can't choose the right verb or something, I hope that you will correct it for me. Definitely. Okay, for example, you just said you you learned English for three years. In this case, we use the present uh, perfect tense, right? Present perfect. So we have to say, I have. I have something. Oops. Oh. So can you tell me the sentence again? How long have you been learning English? I have learned. English for three years. Good, that's good. Or you can say, I have been learning. I have been learning English for three years. Yes, that's okay too. Yeah, um, thank you. Excellent, no problem. Why do you want to learn English? Um, the, the, the first reason I think is um, for my future job. Um, yeah, because uh, the first time I don't know because I learn English when I'm um, in primary school and at that time I don't know what English is. I just know that uh, it's only half Vietnamese and don't have any other languages. So I just speak English. It's just, just knowing, I'm sorry, just speak Vietnamese and just know Vietnamese. But um, by the time that I know they have English, a very like boring to to learn a new new language because I, I don't know what it is. My mom, she tells me that you have to learn English and I have to go to extra classes even I don't want to go. But after years I learned, uh, I, learned I learned English, I think that, oh, it's kind of interesting. Um, I will learn it more. So right now, um, the first reason that I, I have to learn English for my future job. The second reason, I think that I like it. So I <laughs> I study it. So yeah, English is all my hobbies. That's cool. That's very good. Very good. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Just remember, sometimes you don't use the past tense verb, right? Uh, like, yeah. for example, you said when I'm in when I am in uh, primary school. Hmm. We need to say the past. So what is the past to say I am? I was. 
Very good. We say, uh -huh. yeah, exactly. When I was in primary school. Okay. Nice, yeah. nice job. No problem. Just, just uh, keep that in mind. But you're doing great. You're right. Your pronunciation is very good. Um, so, what are your hobbies besides learning English? What else do you like to do? Um, my hobbies, uh, I think, is jogging. Uh, jogging. jogging yeah, jogging. Sometimes I like to reading, uh, but it's not usually because I'm lazy, <laughs> very much. Um, and I like to listen to music. Cool, very cool. Do you listen to any um, English music? Yes, I love US UK music, uh, UK songs. Cool. Yeah. So, how about you? What is your favorite? favorite uh, well, right now, um, let me see. I have a I have a three year old son, and I'm married, so I usually just like to spend time with my family. Maybe we watch some movies on TV, or sometimes mm -hmm. we go to um, we go to the park. Sometimes we have like a barbecue outside. Um, yeah. We also have a dog. We have a, a pet dog. So I like to play with him sometimes. Um, and of course, I like to play games like uh, mobile games, computer games, yeah. things like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So tell me, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have. Uh, one younger brother. Right now, he's seven years old. Oh, that's cool. So you are the older, oldest sister. That's cool. Yes, I'm the oldest sister. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Um, and what about? Uh, tell me how how it is to go to school in Vietnam. Um, is like it's a very long story because I we are school near our house, so it is. Oh, uh, primary school near my house. Primary school near my house, and high school near my near my house. My my, my parents is a high school teacher. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So that would be a little <laughs> strange. Is it strange to have your mother as a teacher? Um, in, in Vietnam, that's popular. I have oh. all like almost all my friends or have um. Uh, parents or mom or dad is a high school teacher, so primary school, primary teachers or a secondary teacher. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Yeah. That's cool. Do you have to wear a uniform or can you wear uh, your normal clothes? Um, we just have to wear a white shirt for the Monday and Wednesday. That's it. In, in uh, primary school and secondary school, that's it. That's it. But in high school, we have to wear um, the clothes of the school. Boy. Oh, so all you, week. Oh, week. So it is a uniform. That's cool. That's very cool. So you haven't started high school yet, right? Yes. Uh, in the next year, we start high school. Oh my gosh! Are you nervous <laughs> or are you excited or what do you think? I think it's both. <laughs> yes. Both, yeah. It's, yeah. It's about the scores too because my mom my parents is the teacher so yeah it's, it's important to that oh yeah the grades the grades that the grade yeah yeah definitely uh so right now you are on uh summer vacation though right yes um um summer vacation and i'm going to go to this new school in a few weeks mm. yeah are you ready to go back or you wish that summer vacation was longer or what do you think? Um, it's, it's hard to say because when I'm in school, when I'm studying in school, I wish that, oh, right now I want to go to the summer vacation soon so I can go travel and do many things. But when I'm in summer vacation and right now I wish that oh, I want to go to school, I'm boring. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good. So, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you're not boring. You you are very interesting. So you say <laughs> I am bored, right? The boring ah. thing, right? The boring thing is the other thing that makes you feel bored. Like school is boring. I am so bored in school, right? Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is the same thing with like excited and exciting. I am so excited and uh, 
the movie is so exciting, right? Uh -huh. Okay, thank so, you. Yeah, so let me just write this down for you, okay? So, uh, okay, the thing that has the ENG, the ENG ending, like exciting, uh, boring, um, others, these are the things that uh, affect you. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Good, okay. Um, let me see. So tell me about your friends. About my friends? All, I mean, like, I, I, my, my, best friend, my best friend is girl, but uh, I usually play with boys. Boys is my friends. Cool. <laughs> like, I, because um, my best friend, she's playing with, plays with boys too, so we are uh, like to talk with each other, but in my school, the girls are just like to talk and to like sit and talk about everything. And it's, it is very boring. So I want to play sports. I want to play, truly play, uh, go outside and play. So I usually play with boys, but all I think they all play boys is a little bit of girly, a little bit <laughs> girly inside. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of strange. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's cool that you like to play sports and hang out with the boys. That's nice. Uh, what sports do you usually play? Um, in the summer vacation, um, um, I swim. Nice. Yeah. Yes, but um, when I'm in school and I don't have time to go to the swimming pool, I like to play volleyball and um, run. <laughs> cool. Volleyball's fun. Volleyball's definitely fun. Uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, and describe like um, what your everyday uh, schedule is like right now in summer vacation. Mm, I think it's just play and sleep and study. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, that gives is very boring. That's uh, good. Oh. <laughs> Yes, and because my uh, it's a swimming pool near my house, so I go to swimming pool every day. You can call me a professional swimmer. Whoa! So you're <laughs> very good. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, let me see. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was gonna say you should enjoy this time because then when you when you you know when you become an adult, then you won't have summer vacation, yeah. unless you're a teacher. You're like your mom or your father. That yeah, then then you will. But uh, yes. do you ever go to the beach to swim? Um. Yes. I um. The next, like um. Sorry. <laughs> right now, I'm confused. Okay. So in the July of this year is uh, is a past right now. Um. Yes. I was go to the. I was go to the this. Do you ever um, listen to the Halong Bay? Mm. Halong Bay? No, I, I Halong Bay? No, never. Okay, so this is like uh, um uh, it's near a uh, island. Mm -hmm. The the beaches uh, are very uh, beautiful, and mm -hmm. it don't have the waves, so it's, it's it depends on the the beaches because in 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 Halibay, there's a lot of beaches a, there's a lot of beach so yeah mm -hmm. uh, in i always want to swim in the sea but i i can't because the waves are usually like is is very big so i can't uh, yeah oh okay yeah very cool okay by the way uh this is you could say this i went to the beach right uh -huh. Because you said I was go, um, so we just say I went. I went to the beach. Yeah. Cool. The waves are very big. I like big waves, though. I think it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. We can jump on it. Yeah. 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 But it's dangerous a little bit for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, cool. Very cool. So far, it seems like uh, you have a lot of fun. Do you ever <laughs> want to travel to another country? Um, sadly, I just go some places in Vietnam, and um, I wish, I hope <laughs> that I can go to the outside of Vietnam before 
I was I, before I go to university to study. Um, um, yeah, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, because in Vietnam, the summer vacation or just or not is play and sleep and eat because we have to prepare for the new school too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to um, study the like the knowledge, the knowledge in the the old grade mm -hmm. again. So it is kind of busy when we're preparing for the new school right now. This this time, yeah. I get it. Yes. Um, okay. So where would you like to travel? Outside of Vietnam. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Um, outside of Vietnam, I think that I want to go to America first. Cool. Very cool. Why? Mm, I think that the go to the America to travel is my dream when I was like about eight or nine years old. And I don't know why. I think I like the America's culture. Okay. Yeah. And uh, America is more developed in Vietnam, I'm sure. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, by the way, American culture. American, yeah, thank you. American um, culture. so I have you ever like how many countries have you traveled to? Me, I I haven't really traveled very much either. I've only been to around here. I've been to Canada, I've been oh. to um, uh, United States, of course, and I've been to Mexico. So oh. just three countries, and they are you know next to each other. So I <laughs> want to I want to travel farther, like maybe to Europe or to Asia. I would love to. Vietnam, yeah, I would love to travel yeah. there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so can you compare America and Mexico? Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, definitely. My grandparents live in Mexico, so I usually go to visit them. Maybe, maybe if I can, once a year. Um, so, it is different. Okay, so it's uh, Mexico is not as developed as America, obviously, but in Mexico there are every there is everything, like there are all the malls, big malls, big buildings, big uh, yeah. restaurants, all these things. But I think the biggest difference in the way of life is that Mexico feels more free. Yeah, um, America, like, we're like we have to work, we have to work. So, yeah, America. I think that is America. Many people they are workaholic. Yeah, you could say that. You could definitely yes. say that. Yeah. Also, I think like in America, people depend on the police a lot. Like maybe if uh, if my dog is barking too loud at nighttime, my my neighbors might get mad and maybe they will call the police and the police oh. will come and they will say you have to make your dog be quiet. Whereas in Mexico, people don't depend on the police so much. Maybe they'll, my neighbor will come and tell me, hey, your dog was keeping me up all night. Do something. And I'll say, yes. oh, okay, okay, sorry. I will try to, you know, people try to solve their own problems and not depend on the authority. Okay, yeah. what, what do you think are some different differences between Vietnam and uh, America? Mm, I think in Vietnam is very uh, different about uh, the how the teen is. Like in, in America, um, the parents are teach the, the children very different uh, in Vietnam, Vietnam and America, different of that, I, I think. Yeah, so, okay. Um, so what do you think about my English? Your English is pretty good. You're right, you need to work on uh on grammar uh but you sound so natural too you say some things that are very american like for example you say like you say like a lot america so we always say like uh, you know i like this like and like like you know so you sound american in that way also your accent is very good but you're right we need to work on grammar grammar yeah especially the past tense uh, but that's it it was very nice to meet you i'll see you another yeah. time yeah, nice to meet you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.